Alright, let's settle this. The infamous Whisper of the Worm or the Moonborn Xenophage? What up gamers, I'm Sir Mav and today we are going to once and for all decide which power exotic is better in Destiny 2 for this season of The Worthy. So this all came about after raiding over this past week and everyone's sort of conversing amongst one another on which is best to use during the damage phase of the boss. Well I hadn't tested these two out since the sniper nerf which reduced the sniper rifle damage back 20% from what they previously were prior to the Shadowkeep DLC. So I figured we'd go ahead and settle this once and for all and showcase the damage numbers for each exotic to find out which was truly better for DPS. Now if you didn't watch the previous video where I tested out all the exotic snipers within the Season of Dawn, basically as long as you never miss a shot, Whisper of the Worm would still output the most DPS over all the other exotic sniper rifle options, even the Izanagis while utilizing the sprint reload for its honed edge ability. Which as many of you know cannot be done anymore once the Season of Worthy launched as Bungie made it to where you now have to go through the full reload when combining the rounds. Making the Whisper with the Catalyst still the best exotic sniper in the game, even with the 20% reduction in damage. But how does it compare to the almighty Xenophage machine gun, which to be honest isn't really a machine gun at all and is more comparable to an artillery cannon? Which is also likely why the Xenophage doesn't do any crit damage without the help of things like Divinity, Tether, or other suppression weapons and abilities like the Tractor Cannon. But even though the Xeno doesn't do crit damage, that does also mean that your aim doesn't have to be precise like the Whisper of the Worm. With Whisper, if you miss a shot, you lose out on its full DPS potential. So for a mobile boss like Zolmak in the Pit of Heresy dungeon, Whisper may not be your best option when you have to be precise with your aim. So with that, let's get into the numbers. Just like all of the testing I do, I made sure to have both exotic weapons at the same light level of 1000 and tested with the same character and gear equipped. This just ensures that there's no deviation in the damage totals showcased to you in the next table. So if you look at these two side by side, we can already see a few pros to the Xeno over the Whisper. For one, the Xenophage showcases a higher rate of fire at 120 rounds per minute, has a bigger magazine and more ammo in the reserves for a total of 13 rounds in the mag and a total of 28 rounds to utilize overall without picking up any heavy bricks. But something to keep in mind here, if you don't miss your shots with the Whisper, your magazine size is actually the full reserve supply of 18 instead of 3. If you ever did have to reload though, it would only take you 3.6 seconds with the stock reload on the Whisper, while the Xenophage has an achingly long 5.4 second reload. Of course, if you have Marksman's Dodge on your Hunter, that reload speed becomes a fleeting memory to you and thus increasing your total DPS on the target. But here's the important number. Even with the reductions in the sniper damage for this season, the Whisper still outputs more per round than the Xeno. A 21% increase in fact even without the Catalyst perks on the Whisper, and a whopping 41% increase over the Xeno with the Catalyst perk active. So even if you popped a Hunter's Tether on your target, the Xenophage will still only barely surpass a Whisper without its Catalyst perk active. But a Tether will only be active for about 10 seconds, which means that after the first 13 rounds are emptied from the Xenophage, damage will revert back to its base after the reload. Of course, this still doesn't even matter entirely because whatever buff you add to a target works for the Whisper's advantage as well. So either way, the Whisper still comes out on top as you'll see in the graph here. Even though the Xenophage does have a higher burst DPS, once you hit that long reload of the Xeno, the Whisper will start surpassing it in damage no matter what. And just because I had to know, I brought in the Queenbreaker and Sleeper Stimulant into the test as well. For one, I swore the Queenbreaker had a higher fire rate than what I calculated, but nonetheless I had to be sure and check to see if these two were secret DPS monsters or not. But it's safe to say no matter whether you utilize the Marksman Sights, which provide increased damage, or Combat Sights, which increases the fire rate on the Queenbreaker, or even in the case of when you take advantage of the Sleeper's massive damage output, neither of these fusion exotics even surpass the Xenophage in damage over time. Even with the Sleeper's Catalyst, which reduces charge time and increases the max size 2 plus 2, wouldn't help it to surpass the Xenophage in damage output. But just as I stated before, the Whisper must be precise in order to maintain its max DPS potential. The Xenophage on the other hand will do the same damage no matter where you hit since it doesn't apply critical damage to its targets without a debuff active. So utilizing the Xeno for moving bosses can still be a better option over the Whisper. In any case, the Whisper of the Worm still reigns as a supreme leader at the top of the DPS board over any other exotic in Destiny 2, so it's definitely a must have for any damage phase against most if not all the raid bosses. So given that bit of helpful info, if you haven't acquired the Whisper of the Worm just yet, this is a great time to do so since the Whisper mission is still bugged and extremely easy to do solo. I mean, extremely easy to the point where you can pretty much one tap anything in the mission at a 1000 light level. 
The enemies themselves still seem to hit you the same amount of damage, but they are all pretty much a one tap as far as health goes. There's plenty of vids out there on how to get the Whisper on YouTube, so I'll leave you in your search to find a guide that suits you if you're still missing this exotic from your arsenal. And that's it gamers! Quick video today as this wasn't something that should take up a ton of your time. Just wanted to bring this data into the light of all guardians everywhere so every team can be sure to max out their damage potential in any encounter especially within the raids. So as usual if you enjoyed the content drop this video a like and tap fire subscribe for more tests in Destiny 2. But until next time gamers, this is Sir Mav, signing off.